Hello, my friend, it is Perez, and I am giving you an epic vlog today worthy of my son's birthday. And not just any birthday, my firstborn is now in the double digits. So, to celebrate his 10th, I have got four days packed with activities and things that I know he is going to love. We are doing a staycation at one of my favorite casino resorts in Las Vegas, the Cosmo, and we are going to see so many shows and just spend one-on-one -on -one time together, just him and I. Grandma is taking care of my daughters and we're gonna create wonderful memories and just make my son feel extra special and extra loved. I know that he knows how much I love him, how proud I am of him, what a phenomenal young man he is, way better than I ever was at that age. Just so proud of him. He really is my dad in miniature. My dad reincarnated the, the shyness, the calmness, the, the generosity of spirit and thoughtfulness. I'm so proud of him, so thankful for him and all that my son brings to the family. Uh, and um, so thankful that I finally, whew, I feel like I can relax and exhale in Las Vegas. It's been quite the challenge getting up and running here. We moved to Vegas, if you have missed our previous videos. And if I was just by myself, it would have been easy. But with three young children and my mother, who also requires help and support with the things that she does, um, it's been very challenging. And doing it all without, chi without with, bleh, doing it all without child care, like so many of you do, you know, being a single parent of three is nothing totally out of the norm. A lot of people do that. And it's not a competition, okay? I'm just here sharing my life, sharing my truth, and it's okay to vent. It's okay to express how I'm feeling. I'm not complaining about my situation, my kids, my life. I am so blessed, beyond blessed, so grateful, and so appreciative of my friend Steph Capellas for hooking us up at the Cosmo. She is taking good care of us. I cannot wait to show you our room and to show you around the casino resort. If you've never been to the Cosmo before, it really, well, it's one of the newest properties on the Strip here in Vegas. And I think it really is one of easily the top three. Uh, so come and see what I do with a 10 year old in Vegas. There really is so much to do here for children on the Strip, not to mention off the Strip. It's a real city where real people live and everything you can do anywhere else, you can do here in my new hometown. So my son doesn't know yet we are doing this. Let's go tell him. All right. Oh my God. You are about to turn 10 years old. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? Yeah. What does that mean? I'm double digits. It means you're double digits, but it also means I'm 10 years older. <laughs> I'm 10 years older since you were born. It feels like just yesterday. I'll never forget the day you were born. I welcomed him into the world and he greeted me by taking a big, giant, black, disgusting poop in my hand. <laughs> He's the only child of mine that did that. It wasn't even caca, it's that, it was like tar. What is that called? I don't know, it was that. that was like... it, was it was literally black, it was like insane. 
Um, how do you feel that you're about to turn 10? Good. Good? Do you feel like a big boy? Yeah. You almost feel like a teenager? Yeah. No, you're only 10. Yeah, in, <laughs> in three years. In three years. Well, I've got some bad news. Mm -hmm. We're not having a birthday party this year. Mm -hmm. Your aunt is not coming. But I also have some good news. What good news? You and I are going on a staycation. What's a staycation? We're going on vacation in Las Vegas. What? Yes, I'm going to take you to one of my favorite hotels, the Cosmo. Just you and me. We're going to stay there for three and a half days. And I have a lot of fun surprises for you. Yay, when are we gonna go? We're gonna go on your birthday. <gasps> Yay. And I know you're gonna love. Like right when I, when I wake up? Maybe not right when you wake up, but that day. <laughs> <laughs> and I have so many fun things planned for you and me. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm gonna say happy birthday, but it's my birthday. <laughs> Grandma, your firstborn grandchild is turning 10. Is there a message you want to send to him? My Nico, you are getting old. Anything you want to say? Good luck, behave good, have fun, and enjoy the weekend. Thank you for taking care of his sisters. Appreciate you. <laughs> Is there anything that you want to tell your brother for his birthday? What do you want to tell him? I love him. Aww. Maite, what do you want to tell your brother for his birthday? You are our best brother and I love you. Aww. Happy birthday. All right. Let the festivities begin. Your birthday is in less than 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and the fun is going to begin tonight. What? I am taking you to two places. Mm -hmm. One is a work thing that I have to go to. <laughs> I'm taking you to the opening of a new restaurant at the Red Rock Resort and Casino in Summerlin. So maybe there'll be a little bit of food for you to eat there, but you'll, you'll eat at home anyways in case there isn't much food. Um, so we're going to go to this new Greek restaurant. Then I'm going to take you to a concert. Yay, what concert? You're going to see the legendary Barry Manilow. Who is Barry Manilow? You're going to have to listen now on your iPad Listen to his greatest hits so that we can enjoy the concert. Manilow, like a man? Barry Manilow, M-A-N-I-L-O-W. You're gonna love it because he's a real m musician and showman. Okay, is there gonna be a dance also on the show? And there might be. Dance? I don't know, I've never seen Barry Manilow in concert before, so I'm excited. <laughs> Yay! Okay, all right, listen up, all right. Well, I think my son will enjoy Barry Manilow. Barry might be a little bit for me. <laughs> I actually was just gonna go to Barry Manilow tonight with a friend, but I said, you know what? Let me just ask for an extra ticket and take my son, because I think he would enjoy it. So that's what we're doing now. And then I've got some very kid-specific, kid-friendly activities for this now 10 year old. So join us, but first at the Copa, Copa Cabana. Let's go to Barry. So this place is called Naxos. Naxos at Red Rock Resort and Casino. Shake. 
You want to try some octopus? No. That's octopus. You want to try some octopus? Let it's me. a seafood restaurant. Looks yummy. No, don't touch. Don't touch. I don't touch. I love seeing children here. This place is really pretty. Oh my god, a mountain of. Wait, you're trying it. Wait, uh, uh. All right, I'll try it. Mmm, oh, that's so good. Oh my god. No, you get it with the tongs. Are you gonna try it? Try it. Grilled octopus. It's good, right? Yes. You like it? You, you liked it. He liked it. What an adventurous eater. You want to try an, uh, an olive? Try an olive. Try an olive. <laughs> well, this is a, a Greek restaurant, I believe, and I'm not letting this olive go to waste. Mm. 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 All right, well, that was lovely, and it was wonderful to see friends there and be social. And this one, oh my, well, he tried the octopus. That, that was very weird imagining an octopus because in the Shark Reef Aquarium that I went to, I saw there is many octopus that was taking <laughs> to the glass door, and and, and, and one of the tentacles that I tried looked exactly like this. <laughs> but you tried it, an adventurous eater. I love it. And now he's enjoying some Sprite, or no, that's Sun Kiss. What is that? I don't know. And now we're gonna go see Barry. Berry, Berry. Look at this. This is the ballroom or the showroom at the Westgate for Barry. And this ballroom showroom, I don't know, whatever. This is where Elvis used to perform. I know, I'm telling my fram. This is where Elvis used to perform in Vegas. They re remodeled it, revamped it, revamped it.
All right, before I share my thoughts on Barry Manilow, my son, what did you think? I liked it. You really liked it? Yeah. For real? Mm -hmm. Why? Because I liked it. What did you like about it? The songs. Oh, great answer. And? The songs. Okay. <laughs> We got to meet Barry after the show and he was so lovely, like truly lovely. And I loved the show. I did not know what to expect. It was just joyous. He's a great showman and a storyteller, not just through his songs, but also what he told the audience. And, and I loved how theatrical everything was. Like a big finish. It seemed like a, a lot of the songs had a big finish. And you know, when my favorite moment was when he did Mandy, oh, and he sang with his younger self, oh. And, and then Copacabana, that thing came down. Like he's giving production for, you know, he doesn't have to um, in Vegas. Like it's, he did, and, and it's appreciated, it's noted. Um, I would totally go see Barry Manilow again. Yeah, it was awesome. It was a great way to start things off for my son's 10th birthday. All right, we will see you in a little bit on his actual birthday, which is in a few hours. All right, this is from Grandma for you. How nice. Thank you, Grandma. You're welcome. You can take it apart. <laughs> Very cool. And Grandma, look at how nicely Grandma wraps presents. You've got to teach every all the kids how to wrap presents because Dad does not know how to wrap presents. But Grandma can teach you. What? Grandma can teach you. I don't think I can learn. Yes, you can. <laughs> You're a better learner than I am. Your teacher had great things to say about you at the parent-teacher conference. Wait, when was it? Earlier today. Whoa! Of course, taking some I like dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a car capturing a dinosaur. What? Bum 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 Another gift for Marito. This wrapping. It has two wrappings. Not one wrapping, but two wrappings. Wow. Because it's one That's so cool. Black, Black Panther. Socks. Socks. It talks? Yeah. Oh. By premium power. Ha <laughs> Don't share again. Okay. Together, we will win the battle. Here you go. Together, yeah, we, we will win, win the battle. Another one. Yeah, check this out. I have like the Wakandis. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. You are so lucky. Ah, a kite. A kite. A Minecraft kite. Wait, what is in here? Oh, some bathroom jam. 
Some what? Bakugan. Oh, Bakugan. I mean, look. Oh. Let me look at it. All right, those little transformers. Yeah, little transformers. <laughs> Cute. 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 You're welcome, Mayito. <laughs> All right, this is from your aunt. We weren't able to gift wrap it. Oh. oh a robot. That's Yay. very cool. Solar robot. But it is actually by the sun. And the microphone. And the, and the headphones. Epa! And let's see what else. All right, this was in a little gift wrap bag from Amazon, from your aunt. Oh. Auntie oh. Amazon. No, 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 no. It's like that. Wait, uh, how? Wait, what? Wait, stop the video. Stop the video. I'm gonna take it out. Now what They wrap it very well. Yes. That's cool. Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah, that was not from your aunt. That was from somebody else. You are strong, my <laughs> Just rip it open. <laughs> rip it hard open. Oh my god, this is so hard. Large screen. Oh, oh my god. Thank oh. you, Cynthia. Oh, oh my goodness. Nice. Mario. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Mario. Mira, soy su Mario. All right. Let's Star Wars Lego. Star Wars Whoa. Lego. Let's go, eh? You can take it with you. Lightning too. card collection. Oh, we can play cards in the hotel if you teach yes. me. Yes. <laughs> Please don't explode it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Anything else over here? Some Amazon cards down there. Science magic kit. Ooh, you oh, can make magician. bubbles. You can do abracadabra. That's what I can. All sorts of things outside, in the backyard. Summer. The summer. <laughs> All right. You don't know what this is yet. It's coming. Say thank you to your aunt. Thank you, Tia Baba. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are checked in to the Cosmo. I love this hotel. And you guys, I have to show you this view. Hold up, let's go outside. <sighs> wow, amazing. We could see the Aria. We could see Allegiant Stadium, T-Mobile Arena. Las Vegas is a valley surrounded by mountains. And the strip is in the middle of the valley. The MGM Grand looks so tiny from up here. Wait, what? Dad, be careful with your phone. <laughs> the MGM Grand? Wait, look at that hotel. It Over there. is almost as big as ours. But look at that one. It looks very small. 
<laughs> oh my God, look at that, how old school. You know how to play that? Yeah. How do you figure out how to play it? It's easy. It's easy? You just you, pull the monsters. You just started playing without reading the instructions? Yeah. <laughs> An iconic Vegas showgirl, Harry Belafonte. I've Who's been. Showgirl. Oh my God, the Vegas showgirls, they are synonymous with Las Vegas. We're just going around and looking at all of the amazing photographs and learning about some Vegas history here at the Cosmo. I love Las Vegas. I love Vegas history. What? A robot. It's not a robot. That was a person. It's a costume. No, it says robot over there. I know, but it's a person. <laughs> Robbie the robot shooting craps at the sands. <laughs> It's a gorgeous hotel, the Cosmo. And they literally have everything you need here, from food to nightlife to entertainment. Highly recommend. All right, my son. In celebration of your 10th birthday, I have curated four very special activities for you. Beginning with tonight, I am taking you to my favorite show of Cirque du Soleil's. It is a mind-blowing extravaganza. We are gonna go see a show unlike any you have ever seen before. It's called, Oh, at the Bellagio. And I'm not gonna spoil it for you. I'm not gonna tell you anything that happens in the show, but prepare your senses. Prepare yourself for O oh, by Cirque du Soleil. Let's go. <laughs> All right, another reason I love staying at the Cosmo is that it is so centrally located. The Cosmopolitan is pretty much in the middle of the strip. So everything that my son and I are doing this weekend is walkable and not crazy walkable where it'll take you an hour to get some place. I specifically chose activities where it'll take maybe like 20 minutes max to walk from the Cosmo to where we need to go. Our first stop is literally the hotel right next door, the Bellagio, where O is. And my son, I have another surprise for you. We are doing a very cool pre-show experience at O. I don't know what that, what that entails, but my wonderful friends at Cirque du Soleil invited us to this pre-show, pre-show something. I don't know what's gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. All right, we are outside of the O Theater and there is no filming allowed inside. Mwah, mwah. I guess that's for the best, but Take my word for it. I chose this show specifically because in my opinion, O is the best Cirque du Soleil show ever. And I love most, almost all their shows. Actually, I love all of them. There's no, well, Cirque du Soleil has an impeccable track record for excellence. And of all of their brilliant shows, O is the best flagship show for Cirque du Soleil. So we get a lot of athletes and celebrities that come through and see the show. And they all sit where you'll be sitting later tonight in our exclusive VIP suites, which is not only one of the nice places to see O, but also one of the nice places to be seen at O. But each suite, just because I think it's kind of funny to see someone riding this across the water, is this upside down umbrella. So again, the artist changes speed and direction by twisting the handle. Then there's a small little propeller underneath the bottom. Our largest prop by far is the clown house. So the clown house weighs three tons, what's called masking, but that actually allows them to go, to go down further and that's usually when they touch the bottom there. This wire mesh is a custom ceiling just for our theater. The reason it's a wire mesh is with the long wig with behind you. Oh. 
Hi guys, my name is David. Um, I'm French Canadian. I do the aerial hoop. Um, so that's the last act of the show. So I barely touched the water. Um, I actually push the Russian swing, also the divers. Um, so yeah. What did you think of the pre-show? You liked it. All right, you just saw. Oh, what did you think? You liked it a lot? What was your favorite number? The, the Russian Swings. The Russian Swings, ooh. Well, I was so tempted to film during the show, but I didn't. I did a little bit at the beginning, then I stopped because I don't want to get in trouble with Cirque du Soleil. I love Cirque. Um, my favorite number is the boat. The boat in the, in the sky or the ship where they're doing like all the trapeze stuff, the work. And then also like towards the end, just when they were coming out of the water and doing all of the beautiful shapes and the, it looked like a movie. It was just so magical. Um, would you recommend O? Yeah. Would you want to go see it again? Yeah, uh, you know something that happened when we were leaving? What? When we were going down the escalator, the escalator almost ripped off my back. <laughs> a little escalator moment there. Um, I'm so happy you enjoyed it. I knew you would. Happy birthday. All right, my son, we are in day two of our activities. Tomorrow we have more fun, but today I'm taking you to do two things. What? And I think you're gonna love both of them. I'm gonna tell you one at a time. So the first thing we are doing is we're gonna go to a magic show. Hey. So let's get dressed and I'll tell you more about it when we get there. Let's go. The second thing. I'm not telling you no, that. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I'll, no, I'll tell you after no, the right now, right now, right now. It's more of a surprise. It's more fun if I tell you later. Right I mean, I'll tell you right now. No, I'll tell you later. No. I mean, it's your birthday. You don't want to be surprised? <laughs> All right. After the magic show, I'm going to go take you to no, see... No, 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 later. I'll tell <laughs> you later? Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go get dressed. Wow, it is popping on the strip today. We're coming at you right now from Paris. <laughs> Paris Hotel in Las Vegas. Walking to our first destination. There's a Las, there's a Las Vegas Walk of Fame. I never knew that existed. I don't, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever walked the strip, really. I usually just take a car, but, but this is nice. Gorgeous. The name of the magician is Farrell Dillon. And we are at Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club. Farrell Dillon. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, they brought Mario up on stage and you helped make some magic happen. And you got a poster. What did you think of the show? What? I can't hear you. It was good. Louder. It was good. It was good? What was your favorite part? The escape. Oh, the that was cool. He got rocks. he got in a straight jacket and did a trick. Well, that was So this okay. So <laughs> there was a lot of sleight of hand magic. Um, it was quick change. Like you could see it and it it was really fun and and actually like like a long show you know like it wasn't just 60 minutes it was like 75 it was perfect um i love that his wife was a part of the act there's a dog um it reminded me of this um magician that we saw at excalibur called mac king so comedy magic it was it was a real good time are you ready to know know what we're gonna do next all right, 
Now, I am taking you to go see Potted Potter. It's a Harry Potter show. Yeah. You excited for that? But when does it start? It starts at, at 8. So what we, time is it right now? It's like 6.30. We got plenty of time to walk leisurely there. Can we, can I see if there's a store? What? Can I see if there's a store? A store? Yeah, what do you need? Okay, yeah, we can go wherever you want. It's your birthday. Making a little pit stop. Look at that. I think you're happy. You happy? Tell me a little bit more about the show. Would you recommend it? Yeah. Yeah. And that was really cool that you got to be a part of it. You entertained everybody. No. Yes, you did. You were very entertaining. No. You were. Uh, can you just have the watermelon? What? Can you just have the watermelon? Thank you. Okay. All right, we got to the horseshoe a little early and I have a surprise for you. What? In a little bit, you are gonna meet the stars of the show. Yay, when? At 7.30, so in 30 minutes. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready for Potted Potter. Are you excited? Why are you talking so low? Because they're, they're doing sound check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you as well. Oh, oh. Nick, will you come back, please? Nick, come on, you've just started now. You've really hurt me. Give me that. Take yeah. both. Okay. You know what? I'll be the bad guy for once, and we'll see how you like it. Oh, I'm Jacob Malfoy. I'm evil. I go around hitting people. Yes, well, I do. <laughs> Thank you, Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, too soon. <laughs> He's Batman now, get over it. <laughs> right, Griffin, I'll give you one of these just like so. Cinnamon one for you too, just like. Give it up for your singer! <laughs> All right, my son, what did you think of Potted Potter? You got to be in the show! Oh my god, what an amazing day you've had. What was your favorite part of Potted Potter? My favorite part was that I enjoyed it, even though I haven't read the books. I've seen some of the movies, and it was just a great show. The actors were fabulous, super high energy, like just irreverent and, and lighthearted, infectious, joyous for all ages. Only two actors. Only two actors. Great space, very intimate. Um, yeah, super fun. And I think it's time for you to go to bed. No, I just said, <laughs> All right, we still have one more day and a lot of fun planned tomorrow. All right, let's go. All right, sadly, our one-on-one -on -one time together is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. Have you had a good time? Yeah. What was your, your favorite thing thus far? The Potter Potting. Potted Potter. That was super fun. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I saved the best for last. I think we're going to go out with a bang. What? Literally. What Do you have any guess? No. I'm going to take you... To see BattleBots live! Yay! <laughs> I'm so I excited. Like I've never even heard of BattleBots, but I found... I, I watched them online on YouTube. Okay. BattleBots, I've learned, is a show oh. on TV. And now they have a live experience. And they're these robots that fight each other. Almost like WWE, but we're wrong. I know, how cool. So let's go. Yay. All right, we're walking to the BattleBots arena and look, a progress update on the spear. That is a ginormous planetarium-like venue. 
and U2 is going to be performing their residency there. Very cool. I see it. Battle bots. Let me zoom out. <laughs> Wow, it's a lot involved in this. So cool. Oh my God. Please find and stay tight and come together again and again to face their fates in the world's greatest competition. I'm out in trouble. still will not get through and will not hurt you. Mm -hmm. We also have a whole bunch of vents that come through the whole entire building. There's like, they're all over the place. All right, my son, what did you think of BattleBots Live? I liked it. You liked it? What was, what, what did you enjoy about it? Everything. Everything? What was your favorite part? Everything. <laughs> so, everything about it is enjoyable. And you know what the coolest part was? It was truly like you were seeing the TV show. It was just like you were at a taping. It was so cool and different. There's nothing like that in Las Vegas. Aww. Well, there's good news and bad news. The bad news, our trip has come to an end. We have just checked out of the Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. I love the Cosmo. Thank you again to Steph Capella's for just being the bestest. And we tr I truly love this property. And thank you to my son for being the bestest and for having so much fun with me this weekend. Did you have a good time? My 10 year old, um, we checked out, we're going back to reality, but we checked out with some brownies. And also with- And a soda. House, and also with So happy 10th birthday, my son. I love you and my fram. If you watched until the end, thank you for being an ender. You know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment, follow, subscribe, share. The comment down below should be Cosmo. Say Cosmo down below. Turn your notifications on. Listen to my podcast at PerezPodcast.com. Get a personalized video from me at Cameo.com slash Perez Hilton. And say Cosmo down below. Like and share and I love you. <laughs> Bye.